So I think that we're going to answer these questions that everybody has about themes now when we talk about themes. So um, what I describe is kind of a general overview of, of what a typical WordPress install does. Uh, and a lot of what, what the questions are are things that are related to, can you get it to do this? Can you get it to do that? Well, a lot of times, yes. But um, you know, it would be, it is very dependent on the theme. Because if you notice, um, and I've been jumping around basically based on convenience, so if you've been following, uh, thank you uh, for following. But there's some major differences in the looks of these sites that I'm showing you, right? These are both WordPress sites. And the back end of that, those sites look the same, right? But the front end looks radically different, right? I mean, the pages are right up here on this site. Uh, this one doesn't really have any pages, right? It's not there. So it's sort of dependent on the theme, um, what you're going to see and where you're going to see it, but also the look and the feel of the site as well. So everything from the colors, the font choices, to where things live in different areas of the site. Um, you know, this one, for example, has a header and then a middle section and then two sidebars, whereas uh, this one has one sidebar on the right, right? Theme dependent, right? So that's what is a theme? Yeah, but that's, but that, that, the sidebar thing only shows up on what would traditionally be called the home page, right? And, but, and, then on the, uh, and then on the subsequent pages, the sidebar doesn't exist anymore. It's, they think they call it columns or something. So let's look at themes. I think you're jumping ahead of me, sorry. I know, it's just because I'm... Well, I am a consultant if you want to hire me. Uh, so <laughs> themes are under appearance, okay? And the theme controls a lot of different aspects of the site. The layout, the look, the feel, where things are, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And WordPress has this major uh, theme library, or theme community might be a better way of putting it, because anyone um, who has some knowledge of HTML, CSS, and some PHP can build a theme. Um, so it's this major, major thing. Um, it's getting to be a little bit more complex, because the kinds of things you can do with themes are, are very big. Uh, but just to give you an idea, here's just the themes that are already installed uh, in this site. Now, if you're at this point that we talked about way, way, way back at the beginning about WordPress.com versus WordPress.org, this is one of the first points you're going to get where it really starts to diverge. Stuff we've talked about so far, categories, posts, pages, they're pretty much identical in terms of how they function with WordPress.com and WordPress.org. You're not missing out on much in that area. With the themes, though, you're going to get much more flexibility with the types of themes you can put onto uh, your own WordPress install versus what WordPress.com gives you access to. So if you know you want something to have a really unique look, uh, and you already have a theme in mind, let's say, you might want to investigate whether that theme is, is accessible by WordPress.com. It may not be. Um, so there are themes that are going to come with uh, WordPress that are pre-installed. Uh, but there's also, as I said, a community around it. So one way that you can look for themes is by searching uh, WordPress.org is that central community space where everybody uh, posts stuff. So that's a really good place to look uh, when you are searching for themes. So I can go to the theme section of my site, go to install themes, and I can search. I want a theme that's orange and that has two columns, right? And it's buddy press themed or Sticky post, find theme, and then it's going to pull up everything that it finds uh, from the WordPress.org website. And these might be things that uh, are made by a company or an organization, or they might be themes that are made by someone next door, uh, your neighbor that builds WordPress themes as a hobby. Uh, so it's kind of all over the place. Um, Steve gave me a list of places. I tend to actually look here first. Um, there's major, major communities outside of WordPress.org uh, where you can find themes. Uh, and as I mentioned, you, know, you can hire someone to do it too. So if, if you, a theme isn't doing what you want it to do, find them. Let's see. Those are all free or do they cost? Yeah. These ones on here? These ones are all free, yeah? Yeah. You, you threw a wrench in my, yeah, it's like, I believe they're all free, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I suddenly, like, that's a really great question. Yeah, question? Would that work? Everything that you go through install WordPress, these are all free themes, but there are there are uh, premium WordPress themes that cost money. About 
I'm not sure if I caught what you said earlier. If you want to custom design the whole thing, it's not the right place to do it. That's a really interesting question. Um, hold that thought. So yeah, so is this not the best place to go if you want to custom design that theme? Yeah. Question. If you have a theme on WordPress.com uh, and you're realizing uh, that it doesn't have the right plugins and uh, things that you want to change, doesn't do what you want it to do. Doesn't do yeah. everything you want it to. How do you find out if that theme is also on WordPress.org? And it, it has upgrades, because some of them have upgrades when you go to WordPress.org that are not available. Usually the easiest way, uh, so the question is, so you're migrating from WordPress.com to WordPress.org, or, or you're only installed, uh, and you want to know if the functionality can be carried over, roughly is what you're saying? Yeah. How, yeah. how, do, you how do you know that? How I think you migrate one from migrating to a host? Well, that's a different question. Okay. So let me answer that question about the themes, because that's a good question. Uh, a good way of finding out does a theme do X, Y, or Z um, is that all of these themes that you find here are going to have um, the developer name on it. And uh, very often, you know, it, it's a community of mine, open source projects, so people are very willing, um, you know, to uh, reach out to you directly, uh, you know, if you email them. So it might be just one person, or it might be a company. You can email them. They might have customer service. Um, I'm not going to vouch for every company uh, that's going to say, you know, I, I do not have all the answers for customer service. I see a lot of hands going up. I don't have all those answers. But um, it is something worth pursuing. Everybody that I know directly that has said they've emailed developers, they've gotten good responses and they've been able to add to that. Uh, a lot of developers want to hear feedback, so if they're lacking something, they want to hear that so they can add to it. Yeah, if you design something on Dreamweaver, can you? Uh, migrated to WordPress. So custom theming. You want to know yeah, about this? Yeah. We're going to talk about that because okay. that's related to your question. Yeah. You know how in Firefox you have for the plugins mm -hmm. uh, a a rating system <coughs> or download.com has a rating system. Yeah, there is a rating system yeah, for this as well. This yeah. Where, where would you find that, and, and how many people like them, or did it, or what went wrong with them, or uh, which are more popular? <coughs> yeah, there it is. It's under details. So there's a rating system for these. So you can see here what the rating is. And popularity, like you know, thousand people downloaded it versus one. Yeah. So you would want to go to the developer page. Uh, do, 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 do. Trust them. So I have some knowledge of CSS and yeah. HTML. I'd love to take a theme because it's pretty near to what I want uh -huh. and, and customize it. With it. Yeah. Yes, so this is a great question. All three of these questions that came up were related to custom theming. So before I move into that, I just want to mention some of these places that Steve told me to are good places to search for themes. Theme Forest, Studio Press. Yeah, theme Forest is really I love it. Yeah, Theme Forest is good. Thumbs up. Uh, Studio Press and then Woo Themes. Uh, so Woo, W O O, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So those were ones that. Can you say them again? Woo Themes, Studio Press. Yep, W O O Themes. Uh, d -d -d Studio Press and Theme Forest were the ones where you can. Forest. Theme Forest, yeah. So, one of the reasons I'm, I'm stumbling a little bit talking about these installs is because I've actually done more, more custom theming. So, these questions that came up, uh, I'm, I'm pretty invested in because I, I have really. Uh, delve more into that rather than looking for other themes. Um, but it is a, a problem that you're going to run into, again, uh, WordPress.com versus WordPress.org uh, in terms of the customization options. With uh, running your own installation of WordPress, you have full access to that theme and you can customize it however you like. Now your question was a little bit interesting, which was, do I start here uh, or do I just build a theme from scratch? Uh, which is kind of more your question, is it possible? You can do both. Uh, what tends to be... Um, kind of uh, the practice nowadays is to have um, what's called a child theme, okay? So you start with a really simple theme that isn't fully fleshed out in terms of the look and the feel, uh, but gives you a good start. And that's a good place to go um, to start with. You build from that, you build from that a child theme that does more of what you want. And to answer the question, how, what do you need to know to do that? You're gonna need to know HTML and CSS, and uh, having some familiarity with PHP, at least know what not to touch <laughs> and what not to break, uh, because that's inherent to the functionality of the WordPress theme. But I just want to show you this. 
um, is that down here under appearance you'll have an editor, um, which is interesting place to look if you've never seen a WordPress install before, uh, because this is the theme. That theme that I have installed, this is it. It's a collection of pages. It's a collection of PHP files and HTML and actually CSS files, right? So if I feel comfortable, and this doesn't look like gobbledygook to me, I can actually go in and, and do it. Now, whether it's smart to do it from scratch or better to build a child theme, I think nowadays there's a lot of reasons to think about doing a child theme, building off an existing theme than starting from scratch. But it is also nice when you're first using it to look at these and see what it looks like. Yeah? Did you download the files and like work on them locally? Yes. Yeah, in fact, so the question was, can you download these files and work on them locally? In fact, I would recommend it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't build it through this web interface. It's just neat to look at because it shows you that all of it is open source. So from the ground up with that theme, if I decided that I didn't like the way the sidebar is organized, I could go into the sidebar file and, and rewrite it, uh, depending on how complex that theme is. Yeah. You can do that for all themes, or are some themes are restricted? Every theme is going to be able to be opened up. Now, the license on each theme is not going to necessarily allow all full functionality, and some of them are going to be more complex. This particular theme has a lot of PHP in it, a lot more than uh, HTML and CSS. So, your level of comfort really kind of depends on which theme you start with. So, if you have like Facebook, Twitter buttons, if the theme makes up has them on the bottom and you want them on the top, you can, if you know how to do. PHP or HTML, whatever the format is, you can go ahead and move it. Correct. Yeah. If if it, if it is in the theme, those buttons that you're talking about, most likely they're not in the theme. They're probably in the plugins, which we're going to look at next, or the widgets. But um, if it was something that was hard coded into the theme, yeah, you could move things around within the theme by by moving around the code. Yeah. Show us what a child theme looks like. Uh, a child theme is going to look just like this. I mean, well. The, the con is more of a concept, so you start, the idea of a child theme is that you start with some theme that is built out, but not, not fully uh, complex, uh, what do I want to say? It, it's, it's easier to kind of start from and then build. Yeah, yeah, question. Sure. Just swap out images and just change the look and the fonts and colors. Yeah. Um, I mean, anytime, it's not, it, technically when you talk about child themes, you're, you're using like this big concept and building out something that's a little bit of a branch from that. So, so to custom theme isn't automatically going to be the same as building a child theme. Um, building a child theme might, uh, I'm kind of mincing my words when I say this. Basically the concept I want you to get is that you can customize the themes if you know certain amounts of HTML, CSS, and PHP. So, rather than going into a full explanation of child themes and parent themes, so yeah, you have a better have a video on the website. But there you the go. Explains <laughs> child themes. Good. Thank you. That's much easier to get into. Thank you. Uh, question? Yeah. Um. I'll ask you. Okay. Uh, so, following themes so far. Seems like it. Seems like you guys got a pretty good handle on it. Yeah. You can get existing themes, you can build them, you can buy them from other people. Okay. Yeah. What happens when uh, a new version of uh, WordPress comes? Do the theme always work or mm -hmm. customize theme? We have no issues because of the new version coming up? So that's a good question. It, um, question is about if a new version of WordPress comes out, do you have to worry about um, compatibility with your existing theme? It would really depend on how complex that theme is. Um, m most often, no. But most often, no. It's more about plugin functionality, which I want to talk about next. But um, if you have a pretty complex theme and you have a lot of very customized options, you might want to check out um, <coughs> whether people have tried it or, or whether there are known compatibility <coughs> issues before you do that full migration. With, with most WordPress, uh, setups that if, if you set it up and you're starting from scratch, I, I wouldn't think it's a big problem.